What is, uh, is it that you are working with and uh, how is it connected to why you came here to Paris to the climate conference? Well, the Green Network of Activist Groups is working in Croatia mainly locally, uh, but also like nationally and quite regionally on promoting all kinds of subjects from social justice, uh, economy, uh, also food sovereignty. And uh, But mainly we are focused on uh, translating those subjects into practical knowledges and skills, which we try to then... Uh, disseminate to people on all scales from uh, personal to institutional so we work with people through workshops uh, to try to uh, give them the knowledge and the skills with, with these practical solutions they can apply on daily basis or through their lifestyles and in their life and also we work with institutions and in trying to implement solutions into school programs kindergartens and then on Uh, higher and higher level, maybe even like uh, curriculum through s studying and stuff like that. But uh, so we're basically we're covering quite a large scale of subjects. And Can you give some examples of what, of what you are teaching there? What kind of skills? Uh, we do stuff from uh, building, from natural building, and have workshops on uh, how to build with natural materials. We actually teach people how to build their own houses. Uh, at the same time, we do stuff from uh, like food, how to prepare food, how to prepare their own cosmetic products at home very cheaply and with natural materials, which don't pollute the environment, obviously. Uh, then we do stuff uh, about gardening and food production. And also one quite big aspect is uh, education on permaculture or like whole system systems thinking design, designing environments from personal uh, small scale gardens to large scale production. And uh, another quite big thing we're working on and we put an importance on is the social and economic aspect of how to bring all of that together into a larger system. At the same time, we also work with policies and uh, analyzing and trying to change uh, policies. So, uh, yeah, from also we do workshops uh, on composting, on uh, biodigestion, Uh, how to produce your own biogas and uh, like fertile compost that you apply in, from smaller scale to larger scale. And that's all very important, uh, of course, because of the way we produce our food, uh, which influences the environment and obviously has a con agriculture contributes to climate change. So that's another important aspect. If we uh, take care of our food and how we produce food, we have a chance on um, changing the whole climate variability and unpredictability that's going on. Uh, yeah, my experience here is linked to trying to disseminate knowledge about food production and soil and how taking care of soil and biological waste, uh, the component of biological waste and how important it is to return it to nature where it came from initially. Uh, to, to spread this word around not just people who are actually farming and producing food because they're kind of aware of these things already, but to um, have this ripple effect throughout the whole society of the importance of food production and what it does to climate change and what it does to our economies and social uh, structures and all these instabilities that we're experiencing today. It's quite linked to food production. So. Uh, I'm hoping to reach even more and more people through this, uh, through the climate talks and through meeting all these people and networking with everybody around that we're meeting here, uh, which is quite important. I'm also learning a lot from other people's experiences because uh, it's the context is different everywhere, where in each country, in each region. So food production is it cannot be addressed like uh, only in one way. There's no monocultural. Uh, solution to agriculture and food production and climate change. It has to be addressed with all these various uh, technologies which we need to be aware of. So I'm hoping to you know, spread the word and uh, talk to other people and maybe we can make a bigger impact if there's more of us aware of the conditions. Can you describe a bit more deeply what happens to the people that are taught by you? Uh, we work actually with both uh, people in the cities and rural populations because this problem has to be addressed on many different levels from institutional personal to uh, large scale and small scale and uh, you know like from 
uh, inside out and, and uh, top down and bottom up. Uh, so we do small scale workshops like composting and teaching people how to uh, make compost toilets as well and make their own compost in the kitchen through bucket composting, uh, like literally in their kitchen. Uh, to then, uh, through larger courses and that we hold, we teach people how to produce food on a s larger scale while also taking care of land and uh, producing food. So uh, what people can actually take back from most of our most practical workshops is basically uh, come home and start composting tomorrow in their kitchen and contribute to the uh, uh, waste, the biological component being taken out of the waste and out of the landfills and going back to feeding the soil and making soil fertile again uh, so in order for the food to be produced uh, more ecologically. Um, so, yeah. And do you think this is a good starting point for people to get empowered so that they really try to change their perspective on, on what's going on and how, how we live and how society works? I think this is a really good uh, opportunity for people to meet and there's a lot of energy exchange going on and a lot of skills and knowledge uh, and cultural exchange going on. So we can all learn from each other and uh, it's a really good opportunity to get across certain subjects that people are not aware of, they don't really talk about them or they've never heard of things and it's a good starting, for, starting point for all different kinds of conversations we could have on all of these subjects that are important for all of us in order for us to live on this planet. So. Yeah. <laughs> and do you think that is a good opportunity for people to change their values? I mean, for example, not to take consumerism so important. It's a good opportunity to start um, addressing issues like consumerism on events like this. But I am a bit skeptical on how uh, how much people are actually willing to change their own personal habits. Uh, we are likely to talk about what has to be done but uh, we are very reluctant on actually changing something uh, when it comes to our own lifestyle that can affect the environment so it's very hard to actually achieve this change this is a good place to reach an agreement or maybe like a mutual vision of what has to be done what should be done uh, what could be done uh, but I'm not really still so Uh, inclined to believe that we are actually ready to make all these changes uh, collectively.